Iso boom, what's going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, you just don't know it yet. And we back with a Q and another Q and A, man. Y'all have been sending questions from all different aspects. Shout out to y'all that came from the TikToks, and then obviously shout out to y'all that been on the YouTube and IG and all this and this and that. So it took some time for me to kind of collect a certain amount of questions that I wanted to answer, and we're here now. So let's get into these questions, man. I feel like I haven't done a Q and A in a long time. I could be tripping, but I like these videos because I don't have to like. There's no script for them. You feel me? Like I just answer questions, and they're really chill videos, and we talk on these videos but i'm digressing so question number one question number one comes from i don't know what order i'm doing these in but question number one comes from some history stuff i don't know if i answered these questions but if i did or missed your question just let me know in the comments and i'll get it the next one in the end but what's the difference between the 7.0s and the 6.0s i believe this one is from tiktok so there's no thumbnail but this one's from the uh vapor jets and like i stated in the verses about the 6.0s and the 7.0s is there's pros and cons to both i think the 7.0s has a little better grip maybe not too big of a difference if you want to talk about just grip but durability the 6.0s are just overall better and on the thumb the thumb splint area the 6.0s have an actual little like pad here and the 7.0s reduced it down for more of a breathability aspect there but they put like little dots but they're not enough dots to protect anything so they're kind of just there like they might as well just take it all out in general but yeah those are the differences between the sixes and sevens next question from Cam Cameron Charzowski. I think I said that right. Charzowski. Charzowski. That's the right way to say your last name, bro. What's the best glove for hard catches? And I answered this in the last QA, I remember, because y'all gotta understand, man. These gloves, yes, will make it better to catch overall, right? But all these one handed snags and two finger, three finger tip catches and whatever is going on, that stuff comes down to the ability of the, rec the receiver, whoever is doing it, the catcher. And these gloves will help. Yes, some gloves do, you know, increase your grip, increase, you know, sometimes you get nervous when you don't have anything on your hands and you have a grip. You have grip with a glove because you have don't you don't have sweat on the glove obviously practice with whatever gloves you have any glove that you're comfortable with whatever your glove is those will make you have a higher chance of these hard catches because again it's just kind of like a it's like a relationship i guess and you just gotta you kind of get used to and get a feel for your gloves like for example some gloves like when i was going over i started using my g1s again and they have the grip goes like to the back of the pinky so you have more of a catch radius i don't know you know like the julian edelman catch if he would have caught it with some g1s it probably i mean it looked hella dope anyways but it would have been easier if he had some g1s something like that so yeah i hope that answer helped next question so i love what i do on this platform don't take this out of context and if any of y'all try to expose me i'm gonna have my peoples come get you question from lil crudo y'all killing me with the names man what you recommend would you recommend these for strictly doing pull-ups on a bar to get grip and prevent calluses do not use football gloves for any kind of gym workouts uh gym gloves have they don't have a stick i don't use a lot of gym gloves but they don't have the same stick like a football glove does a football glove is there to catch a, a ball it's not there to hold hundreds of pounds on a bar or just hold yourself up while you're pulling up and down because that'll rip the purpose of those gloves so don't use those gloves and a lot of you know workout gloves don't have fingertips because you don't need you don't need anything really protecting your fingertips and you would rather have a grip there of your actual hands i wouldn't recommend any football glove gloves for any lifting unless you have like a really old pair that you just like are like done for i'm pretty sure let me answer this question like yeah i'm pretty sure lifting gloves on the inside are made of like like they're softer aren't they like leathery yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like they're leathery some of them have pads but they're not there for like they don't have a polymerization palm you can rip that easily with a bar yeah i would suggest using lifting gloves for lifting and football gloves for football gloves do not mix the two next question from aiden d's how heavy are they compared to that Addy Zero Prime Knit Cleats? This is from an older video, because if you've seen the thumbnail, it is about the Vapor Edge 360s. Let me see. I don't have the weights on the top of my head, but the Vapor Edge Pro 360s are 10 ounces, 10.6 ounces. Remember that. And then the Addy Zero Prime Knit Cleats are 8.6, as expected. Addy Zeros are always known for their lighter cleats, and the Vapor Edge Pros are a thicker cleat. They're not the lightest cleat, but I think what made them so great was, you know, two ounces, you don't notice a difference. Like, let's be honest. But in the same token as you get a thicker mesh, and you get a thicker just quality, and then like people do like covering up the laces because it looks cleaner. Next question from Desmond the Gret is that Los Alamos Hills Sports Park yes it is next question from Kamari Johnson what size is that all of my gloves that I get are XLs so if y'all won't send me some gloves send them in XLs 
But yeah, all my gloves are XLs. I will let you know if I use like someone else's gloves and they're a different size, but for the most part, all the gloves that I get, well, all of the gloves that I get are XLs. Next question from Ashley Fierro. Mm -hmm. Comparison on grip and comfort, comparison on grip and comfort between these and Under Armour F7s and F8s. So grip compared to the G1s. Grip wise, uh, it goes G1s and then like the Under Armours. Well, the seven, the F7s are like a little in the middle, but the F8s, you know, they just kind of down, kind of down there. Yeah, comfortability. I don't have to, if I cue, if I decide to put the, the flashback in this edit, then y'all will see it. But if not, the G1s are just blankets, blankets of a glove, man. Next question from, I'm about to stop answering, putting y'all names in the Q&As. Y'all keep playing with me, bruh. Next, next question from Harry. Harry Balzac. You know what? We're not... <laughs> Lyman gloves, question mark. This is on TikTok. And these are the top three gloves that I... The top three gloves TikTok that I put on the channel. It's also on the YouTube channel. I don't get into too many Lyman gloves because I don't play line. So I feel that my opinion on those would be invalid. But I could try. I've tried the heavier gloves. Like, what did I say? The Like, I've tried, like, Detax and Hyper Beast. I've tried Hyper Beast. I did not like them. But, you know, if you guys want me to try some Lyman gloves... Put, my shout out to my lineman, bro. Put it in the comment section below and let me know. And if I get enough, if there's if there's enough of y'all, I feel that we have a lot of skill positions and not in the trenches positions, the heart and soul of football. I feel like I don't have a lot of those that audience. But if I do, maybe I don't know. And y'all let me know. Y'all gotta be loud. So cause y'all in the back, y'all need to be loud. So I know and I'll show y'all some love and I'll do some lineman gloves, bro. And then the next question, I think I already. So the next question. Oh wait, that's it. We finished. So. I had like copies of questions, but then we're, we're done now. No real big announcements. Um, like I said, it's August. We have some months left. The football season's starting, so I kind of got to hurry it up and get out as much videos in August because September, y'all going to be on and popping. Again, man, if y'all have any questions and need any help, I do therapy, I guess, in a sense. I'm not a licensed therapist, but I have my degree is in psychology. So if y'all need any therapeutic assistance, y'all hit me up, bro. Before game days, if y'all need help and y'all need a pep talk, some of y'all do reach out to me and are having going through rough times and so I'm here for it, bro. I want to talk to y'all. I want to engage with y'all. I want to I want to uplift you guys. Like that's the whole purpose of this channel. It's not really for football, but it's just to help y'all out. And that's what I really like doing. So if y'all have any questions, don't even hesitate to hit me up. You know we get into football season. Y'all gonna have a lot of questions. Send them all to me, bro. I want to answer all the questions in the world. And yeah, if nobody's told you yet, I know the show grind. Keep up the hard work. It's gonna pay off one day. And I'll send me them highlights, bro. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.